Florida Wildlife Authorities killed a 300-pound crocodile named Pancho late last month after he bit a swimming couple in the canal where he lived. Officials had planned to relocate him, but the Orlando Sentinel reported he died during his attempted capture. He was 12. Officials suspect Pancho now holds an unlikely, seemingly impossible distinction. He's believed to be the first crocodile to have bitten humans in the state of Florida. How can that be? First, a quick grade school refresher. American crocodiles and alligators are both among the 23 species of crocodilians in the world, but the crocodiles are much less abundant than the alligators. Crocs are more tolerant of saltwater, meaning they generally have different habitats than alligators. And they have pointed snouts, unlike their freshwater-favoring cousins, which have U-shaped snouts. There are other differences, but the most important is that crocodiles only inhabit South Florida in the United States, and there are only about 2,000 of them in the wild. Alligators reside in all 67 counties in Florida, and there are about 1.3 million in total. They bite about six people a year. These numbers alone help explain why American crocodile bites are so rare, and their behavior explains the rest. Unlike some larger, more aggressive relatives like the deadly saltwater crocodiles of Australia and Southeast Asia, the American croc is shy and reclusive. It avoids humans and encounters in the wild are rare. Meanwhile, American alligators increasingly coexist with humans in crunched Florida habitats, leading to more attacks. Florida officials now shoot any alligator that bites a human, while problem crocodiles are relocated to a licensed facility to live out their lives. Pancho refused, dying as he attempted to fight off his captors and enshrining his strange fate into wild Florida lore.